Hi, and welcome to another video edition of the Lawrence Journal World State House Live blog. I'm Peter Hancock. We thought we'd do something a little bit different this week. We're coming up on the midpoint of the session, and a lot of deadlines are coming up. And so what we thought we'd do is talk to one of the newer members of the legislature, Boog Heiberger. He was elected in 2014. He took over the seat that was formerly held by Paul Davis, who had stepped down to run for governor. And we started off just asking him whether, so far, has it lived up to everything he expected? That's, um, that's a good question, Peter. I'm not familiar with the way city government works, a lot less so with the way the legislature works. So it's definitely a different beast, but it is pretty much living up to my expectations. Yeah. A lot of people are saying, and in fact, Anthony Hensley was saying um, earlier today that this is one of the most dysfunctional sessions he's seen. Um, well, that's that's encouraging. Uh, <laughs> because and I hope so. Yeah, uh, just bills are not moving through the chambers; they're just piling up on general orders. And now we've got turnaround day coming next week. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't so sure about how the general orders was working. I know that. Committees I've been on mostly have been pretty efficient. I've been really happy with corrections. We've uh, been we've worked almost everything that came in, and we've moved out 15 to 20 bills. Judiciary, now we've made some what I think are bad decisions, just a couple, but for the most part, things are running pretty smoothly. Smoothly, I'm sorry, smoothly there I think. So. Um, on judiciary, uh, you've moved out two constitutional amendments. Yes dealing with the Supreme Court, and there's maybe a third there back there. There have been six or seven more introduced. Yeah. That would change the nominating process in some fashion or another. Yeah. Uh, what's your sense well, in the I'm House? just going to go back to quoting Martin Dickinson in the testimony he gave to us. Uh, Katie Law Professor Martin Dickinson. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And there's, we have uh, a really well-functioning judiciary, as far as I can tell, in terms of Supreme Court justices and appellate court justices. I don't see them. It's a, these bills are you know, a solution without a problem. Yeah. You know, I, I think if either of these, well, if the election bill passes, it will be one of the most tragic days in the history of our state, I think. You know, this, the other appointment, the other bills that change the method of appointment, they're not total disasters, but they're not, they're totally unnecessary, I think. All, all of them, all they do is to serve to politicize the the judicial branch of the government, and I think that would be a great misfortune. What's the sense, though, that you get in the House? Uh, are these bills, gonna, are, are these things going to pass? Do you think uh, they both passed thirteen to nine in corrections? I don't think they'll have the two-thirds majority to pass the full House. Um, you've been in Lawrence for a long time. Yes. There's a certain political culture in Lawrence. Yes. There's a very different political culture over here. That's true. Um, were you, were you surprised, or do you think most Lawrence residents would be surprised at how? Oh, I'm not sure a lot of Lawrence residents. Well, no, I think I think it's pretty well known that we're Lawrence is different, and you know, I I, I was pleasantly surprised by how many uh, thoughtful, reasonable, moderate people that were here in the House on the, in the Republican Party. I, I'm really pleasantly surprised by that. There aren't enough of them, but there, there are a lot of great folks. In there. Yeah. Uh, so, are you enjoying it so far? No, <laughs> not really. I mean, it's uh, it's it's. I'm surprised that we get as much done as we do without making. I mean, we were working a bit in uh, corrections the other day. No, in judiciary the other day, somebody made an amendment on the fly. If we hadn't thought about it for just a second more, we would have criminalized consensual sex between 17 year olds. Made it a felony. You know, mm. It was just a bill about something else entirely, and so I, I'm really surprised there aren't more really serious mistakes made during the committee process. And it's not. I mean, I think it's going to get even more that way as we get busier. Where amendments are done at the last minute, not everybody having a chance to review them. And I, I have some concerns about the process. Yeah. Um. You see yourself being here for a while? Yes. Yeah. Um, I made a commitment to my district that I, was gonna, I wasn't going to run for just one term. I'm going to stay here. And, you know, I'll be more effective the longer I'm here. So I'm not going to put a, a term. 
I'm going to set a term limit for myself or a term minimum, but yeah. I'll be here for a while.